Hey guys, it's TJ, and welcome back to um, another Black Ops 3 video. So this is going to be a life story, something that got me in quite a bit of trouble. But yeah, this got me in a ton of trouble. It's kind of stupid, kind of embarrassing. And um, I got called down to the principal's office and had a talk with him. So, And so I just thought I'd tell you guys about it. So, you know, it all started a normal day. Um, you know, school had ended. Me and my friends were on our way out. Uh, we were talking in the hallways, and every single day, you know, after school, all the teachers were like, "All right, let's go, get out of here, let's get out of here, let's go," and they like push you out. They have like pips and detentions waiting for you if you don't leave. And like I've always wondered, why do they want us out so bad? And then I made a joke about why it was. So. Me and my friends were talking, and eventually, you know, one of the teachers came around with, like, came out of nowhere with, like, a stack of detentions in her hand with it, and just waved in her face. She was like, Okay, guys, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna give you all detentions. And we were like, wow. Wow. So, we were walking out, and, um, you know, we were walking down the stairs, because the second floor is where we were, so we were on our way down. And I made a joke, which, thinking back on it, I know it's kind of stupid, but just hear me out for a second, so. Okay, so, but keep in mind, I wasn't thinking, I was just talking to my friends, joking around. We walk, we're walking down the stairs, I'm like, I bet the teachers are doing drugs, and that's why they want us out of here so bad. And all my friends just looked at me, and they're like, you know, Miss, uh, what should I call her? Miss, we'll just call her Miss So-and-so. You know, Miss So-and-so was right there. And I'm like, yeah, but she isn't paying attention. And we keep walking down. And we leave. And it was kind of a stupid thing to say. I don't really think any of them laughed. And it's kind of embarrassing. And really stupid. Uh, but, yeah. So we leave. I think everything's fine. I'm like, luckily they weren't paying attention. I probably shouldn't have said that. But still, they weren't paying attention. We're good. We walk away. I have a nice day. Nothing's, nothing's wrong. And then the next day, we're like working in the hall. Then the same teacher that gives me tons of pips to where I have to meet with the principal next time I get a pip. Like, a lot of people say, oh, this teacher's out to get me. But I genuinely think that this teacher dislikes me because of just the sheer amount of trouble she gets me in for the littlest, littlest tiny things. And so she calls me into her room and makes me do work in there, even though I wasn't doing doing anything. Like I was talking, but we weren't that loud. So we're working out there, and this one and she comes out, and this one girl, for whatever reason, says Tim's being a bully, even though I wasn't doing anything. She calls me into her room. I go in there. Timothy, get over here. And then the girl who said I was bullying was like, No, I was just kidding. Nothing. He wasn't actually doing anything. And I got called into her room. And then I was like, You know, she was just kidding, right? And she was like, I didn't even hear what so-and-so said. And I was like, then why am I called in here? Like, you're making me work in here. And then she was like, so I heard what you said yesterday after school, and I was kind of confused because, keep in mind, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But I guess it was because she was like, about about what you said, about teachers doing drugs. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I, again, I, even then, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I was just like, it's cool. I mean, it was a joke. She knows it was a joke. She's usually a cool teacher. And, um... Yeah, and so I have to work in there. I don't know why I'm working in there. She doesn't talk to me or anything. I just have to work in there for whatever reason. So then, uh, it's like a few class, it's the next class period where I'm actually in her room. You know, before I was working for a different class and she just called me into her room. But now we're actually, it's her science period. She's the science teacher. And I get called down to the office and I'm like, I have to meet with the vice principal, and he was like, so, some teachers, I'm like, oh, wow, okay, I wonder which teacher that is, and he's like, some teachers, uh, told me what you said after school about teachers doing drugs, I'm like, oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that, and right after I said it, I knew it was a mistake, and he was like, but you don't think they actually do drugs, do you? I'm like, no, of course not, and he's like, can you see how that's disrespectful? I'm like, yeah, and then he let me go. And then, once I got back, another person got called down, and I'm like, oh, uh, it might be for a similar reason to why I got called down. Like, you know, just because he said he's following up on things teachers have said. And then, the science teacher who was out to get me was like, 
Why did you have to say anything? And I was like, well, I, I, I'm, it's freedom of speech. I was just saying, he's following up on what teachers are saying. So, you know, it's just, I was just warning him. Anyway, that's the story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I got called down to the principal's office. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you all next time. Bye.